In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Airflow onto your machine. So Airflow is an open source package that was created by Airbnb and it's used to automate data workflows using Python. So if you haven't got it on your machine, you do actually need two things before we start. So you need to download Docker and you also need to download WSL. So WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. So if you haven't got any of those, then there should be a video showing somewhere on your screen or check the video mentioned in the description of this video. And it's about how to download Docker. Okay, so if you do have it installed, then what you do need to do is to open up a new browser and then you're gonna type in Airflow Docker Compose. Click the first link from the official website and then scroll all the way down until you see fetching docker-compose.yaml. And then you're gonna click on docker-compose.yaml and that should download the file itself. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into File Explorer and then I'm going to create a new folder. So create a folder in a location you want to save this file into. So I'm just going to save it here and I'm going to name this folder airflow-test. And now I'm going to open up VS Code and I'm going to paste the Docker Compose YAML file into there. The next step is to create a .env file. So create a file and then name it .env. So that's where we're going to save some credentials that's going to make Airflow work properly. So just paste this in. If you can't see it, let me just zoom in a bit. The next step is to open up Docker. So I'm just gonna search for Docker and then I'm gonna click on it. So make sure you log into your Docker account so that we can spin up the Docker engine. And once that's turned on, I'm just going to minimize that. And then I'm going to click on terminal and then new terminal. And now I'm going to type in docker compose up dash D. So this is going to spin up the containers that will help us use Airflow. And if you want, you can actually click on the Docker app itself and you can see the same thing here. So I'm just waiting until all of the relevant containers are now green. So just wait until it's completed and then we can now proceed to the next step. Okay, so it looks like it's done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up a new tab and then I'm just gonna drag this here and then type in local host 8080. So localhost colon 8080, then hit enter. And that should now spin up this sign in page. So the username is going to be Airflow and the password is also going to be Airflow. And then click sign in. And now you can see the Airflow homepage. So if I was to click on the DAGs tab, you're going to see a list of default DAGs that were created by the Airflow team. And then you have the assets tab, where you can see the different assets. You have the browse tab, you can see audit logs if you want. But the bottom line is, we've successfully downloaded Airflow onto our machine. So if you didn't want to close all of this, what you can do is you can go back to VS Code and then type in docker compose down and then it's going to stop all of the containers that made Airflow work in the first place. And then if you tried accessing Airflow again, you can see it no longer works, which is what we want. And that's pretty much it. So we've downloaded Airflow and we can now start orchestrating our data workflows and DAGs. So hopefully that helps and I hope you stay blessed.